The service today was just so powerful. My dear, I was surprised at what Brother Samuel did today. So you noticed him? Yes, he has never preached like that before. And the presence of the Holy Spirit was all around the campus fellowship today. I thank God for his life. I'm so happy for the height the Lord is taking him. Yes, exactly. Did you see the new convert? He came out whipping like a child. That was the Holy Spirit at work. Glory be to God. My dear, I have to run along now. My auntie will be at home now waiting for my return. Okay, dear, bye. Emily. What are you still doing, up by this time? I was so hungry. You know we just broke our 40 days fast we had in campus today. Oh that's wonderful, I will be in my room. Okay aunt. I just have to find this out. Why God hated Esau so much. It seems this is not working. I have to deliberate with Ella tomorrow on in it. I'm off to bed. Father thank you for today, be thou exalted and magnified. Thanks everyone. It's a privilege to be a speaker here again. Thank you so much. I also thank Almighty God for all He has done. I thank Him for giving me the privilege to talk to His people again. Today I will be talking about why God hated Esau. Last night the Holy Spirit led it in my spirit and I believe this word is for someone here today. Glory to Jesus! What did Esau do that made God hate him? I studied the life of Esau and discovered three things. The problem surrounding Esau. He made permanent decision on temporary situation. Birthright is permanent. He exchanged his birthright without thinking. The second thing is that he was careless. He gave out his birthright without resistance. There are many of us any time we are face to face with unrighteousness there is no resistance. Somebody just come and present immorality. You fall willingly. Somebody tells you to lie, you just lie, there is no struggle. You don't battle. You don't say to yourself, I am standing as a seed of God. The carelessness of Esua irritated Jehovah. Many of us don't live life or values. The third thing was that, he had a wrong passion. He told his brother Jacob, if I don't eat this, I will die. We all know that it takes 21 days for someone to die of hunger. But he had the wrong passion. There are people, once the heat of iniquity heat them, if they don't do it. They are not calm. Example they want to make money, they don't care about what, what they do to make the money. This is wrong passion the three problem I saw in Esau. My time is up thank you. God bless you all. Ella. Did you see what I saw today? Brother Samuel nailed it again. The speech he made right. Do you know last night? I was making a research on what he said about Esau. I was wondering why God said he hated Esau. Sister Ella. To my greatest surprise Brother Samuel preached on the same topic. Are you serious? Wow I believe the Lord was directly talking to you about something. You have to ponder on those words. Well I will be waiting for a cab. Have a blessed day. Hey Sister Emily. How are you doing? Wow, Brother David. I'm fine. I'm surprised to see you here. How about you hop in and let me drive you home? Oh sorry I'm waiting for a cab. Come on Sister Emily, we're in the same campus fellowship. It's not bad to help a sister in Christ. Okay, if you insist. So ever since you got converted at the last meeting how had your journey been in the Lord? It's been fabulous. How about today? I was blessed tremendously. We will soon get to my house. Thanks a lot for today. Hope I will see you again. Okay till then. All right. Stop at the next stop. Thanks for the ride. 
Dave what up? Have you gotten the girl? Bro. I told you I'm the boss in this game. I made sure she was in church the day I gave my life to Christ. <laughs> See bro. Those girls are wise and fireful. And... Calm down Victor. My plans are already written and shall be executed soon. <laughs> I know Emily very well, trust me, that girl will turn you down. Can I shock you? I gave her a ride today. So bro, calm down. And what? Wow! She accepted the ride? Oh no bro. You good at this. <laughs> I told you. Well, I don't dare go house. What kind of confusion is this? I know I'm not confused. And God is not an author of confusion. Bro Samuel. Ella has already left and you said we should sit down. We are sitting now. So you can talk now. Well. Um. I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. Okay bro Samuel, I'm listening. I have been on prayers for the past three weeks. And after my prayers the Holy Spirit started leading me to you, Sister Emily. I will be leaving the camp soon. And I want to get this settled, please Sister Emily, I want you to marry me. Yes Sister Emily. Please. Well, Brother Samuel. I have heard you. You have to give me some time to pray about it. Sister Emily. Please take your time to pray about it. I'm not in a rush. Take your time to pray. And I will be expecting your reply anytime. I will be leaving now. Thanks for your time. God bless you. No, this can't be true. Lord talk to me. Please, 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 I have to see Ella tomorrow morning. Driver please drop me at the next stop that restaurant close to Tommy's shop. Okay madam. Thank you. Emily, you sounded so urgent on phone what happened? Yes Ella. Pro Samuel proposed to me last week. Remember when he came to us at the front of the campus fellowship? Yes, yes, I remember, so why are you sad and worried? I mean, you should be happy. That such a fireful, responsible brother wants to marry you. I'm happy for you darling, so what did you tell him? I did not give him a reply. I told him that I will pray about it. Wait a minute. Emily you said he told you this last week. So have you been praying, Ella? I guess you expect me to tell him yes. But the problem is, he is not on point. You and I know that bro Samuel is too local. Emily what are you saying, this guy has a vision in Christ or is it because he doesn't dress? Wait a minute. Or is there someone else? Emily, so there is someone. And as close as we are, you never bothered to tell me? Okay. So now tell me. Who is he? 